Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today we're gonna to look at how to copy your iTunes library to an external hard drive or a USB drive and actually run and operate your iTunes music from an external media. We'll see how you do it right now. So here we are on our Mac. We're gonna show you the easy steps on how to copy your iTunes library from your local computer over to an external hard drive. So I've got my iTunes just here. I'm gonna close out of my iTunes. So we're here on Hi Sierra. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the Finder window and navigate into the Musics folder. All right, you should have music listed under your, um, in your Finder. And then in there you'll have an iTunes folder. So this is the iTunes folder, this is the files, and all of your music essentially lives inside this folder. Now, the easy thing that you can do is you can literally just right click on this iTunes folder and say copy, then open up your external media, and then paste it straight into here. Now that will take a little bit of time depending on how much music you have. Uh, if you've got gigabytes and gigabytes worth of music, it's obviously gonna take a long time. Now you always wanna be, um, obviously you want to have enough capacity on your USB hard drive, on your external hard drive, to be able to copy your entire iTunes music library into, okay? So make sure you have enough capacity, make sure you purchase an, a drive that is big enough to be able to store your entire iTunes library. Now that iTunes library has copied into this drive called Untitled, and everything is now listed in here, essentially the same as what was listed in here. Now if I go ahead and open up iTunes, it's going to by default go and open up iTunes in this particular location because that is where it's been opening in the past. Now the key to uh, tell iTunes to open up iTunes in a different place is to hold down the option key on your keyboard. So it'll say option, it's next to the command key, it's in the middle of the command key and the control key on your keyboard. Holding down that option key, click on iTunes. You will then be presented with a screen that says choose iTunes library. iTunes needs a library to continue. You may choose an existing iTunes library or create a new one. We're now going to say choose library. You're now presented with your finder window to be able to navigate. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna navigate into our external hard drive, into the iTunes folder, and we are looking for this iTunes library.itl file. This is the file that contains all of the information, all of the data information of your iTunes library. If this file is not there, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to be able to open up your iTunes library from an external location. Once you've selected that, you can then click on open. It is now reading my external hard drive and will open up iTunes. So that is now opened up my iTunes library um, from my external hard drive. You can easily verify this by going into the iTunes preferences folder, uh, the tab, sorry, and going over to the advanced area. And you'll see that iTunes media folder location is now volume, which is my external hard drive, untitled, iTunes, iTunes media, which matches up to untitled, iTunes, and then iTunes Media is obviously where all of your media actually lives. Nice and easy. If you wanna change that back, we close out of iTunes, hold down that option key and click on iTunes, choose library, and then navigate my music area just here and click on open. Now, once your media has all been copied, once all of your music has been copied to your external media, if you do wanna free up space, you can literally just go into the music's area here, iTunes, and then just trash your iTunes library like so. Empty out your trash if you need to, and you're good to go. So now your external hard drive, your iTunes library lives in here, and you can easily navigate it by iTunes, uh, holding that option key and selecting that iTunes media. You can actually create multiple iTunes libraries this way as well if you want to, if you wanna have some for some sort of music and others on a different uh, sort of media. Um, if you have multiple hard drives, you don't have enough, uh, you know, one that's big enough, you can spread it across multiple hard drives. The only annoying thing is that every time you open up iTunes, you do have to go and select that new location, but um, that is really how you do it. So. Comment below, I'd love to hear your thoughts if you found this helpful. Also commenting helps me to grow my channel and spread the word. Hope you found this helpful and we will talk to you next time.
So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, just on the button there for more videos.